Hey guys, so today I'd like to share with you three different ways of doing milkmaid braids. Now I'm sitting outside in my parents' garden because it's a beautiful day and I'm babysitting their dog. So it also means I don't have a mirror, so bear with me if these are a bit messy. For our first version, we're gonna divide our hair into a middle part. There we go. And then quickly brush through each Oh my god! Ellie Bell just landed on me. Can we see this? Hello, buddy. Okay, we can do that so. Grabbing one side, we're gonna create a simple three strand braid. So divide our hair into three and just braid it like a regular braid. Then once you get to the end, then simply tie it off with an elastic. Now let's braid the other side the exact same way. After finishing off our second braid, we can tie it off also. And now we're gonna pull our braids over our head. Now you've basically got two ways you can pin your braids on top of your head. The first is just pulling it over like so. When you do it this way, you can see that it creates a bit of a poof at the front of your hair. Now, if you don't want that, you can twist your hair off a twist to the back and then put it over your head. This way, the front of your hair is a lot tighter and closer to your head. It all depends on what look you prefer, to be honest. Now, I'm gonna be twisting my braids to keep it closer to my head this time, and then pin it in place using bobby pins. One in the front of my braid, and then another one in the back, crossing them over as I do so. place another two bow pins on this side of my braid leaving the ends loose for now because we're gonna cover that with our second braid so let's grab our second braid once again twist it off to the back and then pull that over the ending of your first braid now you can either place your braid in front of your first, which I'm gonna do I think, or of course, to the back. But I'm gonna place it in front of it and tuck my ends into the first braid that is already pinned in place. Now we can pin our second braid in place also. And there we go. First and simplest, in my opinion, milk bay braid is done. Okay, we changed camera positions because I couldn't stop squinting into the sun, so I hope you can still see it, but let's move on to our second braid. Now let's do our second version. For this one, we're going to be using a scarf. Now, you want a scarf that's long enough so you can use it to braid your hair and actually still wrap around your hat, but you'll see in a bit. So. We're gonna start this one by placing the scarf at the back of our neck, so each side of the scarf is halfway down our shoulders. Then we'll start this time up here with twisting our hair. So divide into two sections and twist the front section over the back section. Now add some hair to the front section and just keep twisting it. I'm trying to keep my twist close to the front of my head, so I'll have enough room for my braids to go behind it. Now I'll just keep twisting till I reach behind the back of my ear and I've added all my hair to it. I'm 
there we go. So I've added all my hair and I've got my two sections of hair. Now I'm going to be using my scarf as my third section for my braid. So starting from the back of my ear, using the scarf as a middle section, we're going to be braiding our hair in with the scarf. Now this version really works well for people with thinner or less hair because the scarf really helps bulk out your hair. Also, it adds a touch of color to your braid, which is always fun. Now I just keep braiding and then I can tie it all off, including the scarf. There we go. And now let's repeat that whole process on the other side. After you finish both of your braids, you can once again wrap your braids around your head in one, using this braid to cover the ends of the first two, and then tie my scarf in the back. Now you can tuck away any standing ends that you see. And then your second braided hairstyle is done. Now the thing I love the most about this version is that it doesn't require any bobby pins. So sometimes those little buggers can really hurt my head. And since this one doesn't use any but still has all my hair up and secured, I really enjoy wearing this. So yeah. Like I said, this is my personal favorite, but of course I'd love to know what your favorite is, so please let me know in the comments down below. Now let's get ready to do our third and final updo. Now for our third and final updo, we're going to be moving my parting to the side. And then we're going to start Dutch braiding the bigger section first. So starting at the top, we're going to divide our hair into three sections and bring each section under the middle section. Then we'll be adding hair to the middle section as we go while we braid, creating a Dutch braid. Now once again I'm trying to keep the braid close to my forehead so I have enough space behind it to place my braids later on. And we're just going to continue braiding this way when we get to the back of our head. Now I'm pulling my braid to the back because this time we're going to wrap our braid all the way around. And it's easier to keep it in place when you pull your braid in the direction you want it to lay. And then let's repeat on the other side.
So this is obviously not a really, uh, it's not a how to braid tutorial, but if you guys would like to see me do that, like a French braid, Dutch braid, fishtail braid tutorial, then please let me know, because I'd love to know if you guys are interested in that. Anyway, after I've finished my Dutch braids, I'm gonna pull them a bit to make them a bit fluffier and bigger. To really enhance that braid on top of your head look that it gives you. And after I've messed them up as much as I like, I can pin the other braids in place. Now I'd like to start with my bigger braid. Bring it over behind the first braid and just tuck it in wherever it ends. So for me that's just after my parting. After that feels secure, I can grab my other braid. Lay it along that first braid and tuck it in wherever it ends. Making sure those ends don't poke out. And there we go, our third and final version of the Milkmaid Braid. And this is the version I used to do a lot when I had shorter hair. Because the Dutch braid already creates the effect like you have a braid on top of your head. And then I could just tuck in my shorter braid right behind my ears. Which would still create that halo effect that I was going for. So, if you have shorter hair, this is the version for you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe even learned something new. I'd love to hear which of the three versions is your favorite and I'll see you next time. Bye!